on Wednesday the 4th and Thursday the 5th, I'm watching you move full steam ahead. And my sense here is that you're feeling much like you know intuitively what direction you're supposed to be going in and you don't want anyone getting in the way. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're deliberately being a little socially uh, isolating um, of your, you know, of yourself, just being very limiting on how much access Okay, people have to you. Now, I even see you doing this at work. I see a boss trying to say to you, could you just stay after? And you're like, oh, sorry, I can't hear you. You know, it's like out the door I go. And I see a lot of animals coming around you, like this guy over here. And, um, you know, just trying to give back. We confuse animals a lot for needing us when in actuality they're here to give energy back to us and bring healing. So they're coming and they're giving to you, literally and spiritually. And I think that you need to absorb that and keep pushing forward. But yes, protect, okay? Full steam ahead. Now, on Friday the 6th, I saw you putting money in the bank. And this, to me, felt like, I can't tell if I'm looking at three weeks or if I'm looking a little further. Some, some of you, it's like around three, three, the third week going into the fourth week. And for some of you, it's more like the fifth week. Um, possibly as far out as the sixth week, but let's say the washing machine broke or, you know, repairs, uh, put money in the bank, not necessarily for a rainy day in the fun sense, but you're going to need it here soon. So be mindful. Uh, I'm seeing on Saturday, the seventh help others. Now with this help others, it could come in a smaller group or a one-on-one, -on -one, but you may be asked to speak. You may be asked to Put yourself in a position of leadership that maybe you're not even comfortable with. And you may be asked to volunteer or help assist in putting some type, some type of organization or fundraiser together. Now, here's the thing. Many of you seem to have an attitude of, well, I don't do that or I'm not good at that or, you know, that's not part of my plan. And it's almost like you have this blocked in way of thinking about it. It's not always about you. So if you have something to give, give it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Monday the 9th, I'm seeing a heart and I'm hearing healing. And I heard the words, I'm sorry. And then I heard some people taking it away. <laughs> so my interpretation of that from your relationship guides is that someone could be coming back into your life who should have apologized for the way that they behaved. And they may offer it, and then they may almost do it in a subliminal way. So it's, you know, obviously not direct. You may not know how to take it, but that's what their attempt at reaching out is. And some of them may offer it and then sort of go right back to being themselves. You're going to have to figure out on that day what that means for you in that relationship, but I do feel some type of resolution coming. For many of you, when I'm talking about a love partner, I feel like, you know, this is almost a this is almost a closure that you didn't have to have. It would have been great if it showed up years ago when when you really felt you needed it, but now it's here and it's in retrospect, you know, you're kind of in hindsight, you're going back and you're looking at the situation and you're saying, you know what, I'm glad that happened because look at who I am now. And this person is just now coming around to figuring out what, what happened or what went wrong, you know, what they did, the pain that they caused. And I feel you getting a nice sense of closure off it, but without needing it anymore. So it's very interesting that these dynamics here. On Wednesday, the 11th, I heard new house. So some of you may be getting a new property, you may be approved for a loan, a grant, um, whatever it is, you may, you may actually get that contract signed. And for many of you, you may be unloading a property so that you can go on to what you want. The other interesting thing that I saw there was check the basements, okay? So we're checking lower foundation, we're checking for water, we're checking for, you know, literally the foundation and house cracks, things like this. Um, I want to say, though, this can also be a double symbol and a double message. So for those of you who need to 
rejuvenate yourselves. The house represents you. It represents your body and your life. And so if you need a new house, this may be a great time to do a makeover on yourself and on your life. And the basement is skeletons in the closet, stuff swept under the carpet, unfinished business, unresolved issues coming to the surface. You're going to want to work on through those. 